Hey, before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Gemini, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Gemini, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you today and how they do because that is how I keep up with you guys is through the comments. But also Gemini, if you do enjoy this reading today or you just enjoy my vibe, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. But remember, Gemini, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. Use your intuition because put it in perspective. I am just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, as you go throughout your day today, Gemini. But never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly tarot reading now, darling. So Gemini, I want to see where it is you guys are currently at. What is it that you guys are currently feeling in this point in time right now darling let's see here so we have the ace of fire ace of wands trying to come forward for you guys this card says someone else got this as well i don't remember who uh the anyways <laughs> this card says an exciting new endeavor career advancement and changing your life now uh, so Gemini, definitely, this is a time for, I feel like you guys, you for one, Gemini, I know for a fact you guys have been going, a little interruption as well, I am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since for hitting 10,000, so if you would like to enter the giveaway, I'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me, or a reading done by me, uh, on their own personal reading, whether it's live or recorded. So all the information will be down below, it's a quick, simple process of joining my new Discord, and it'll be pretty self-explanatory but yeah let's get back into your reading darling through a pretty rough patch for a while you guys have definitely felt like you are alone in your situation alone in your life right now not really having that strong restore port system um so this makes me happy to hear it makes me happy to see this ace of fire this ace of wands for you guys because you guys are focusing in on a new energy something has caught your interest right this is definitely an energy where you guys definitely feel motivated this came out the moon card came flying out for you gemini so definitely with this situation whatever has caught your eye um a world will be catching your eye this week gemini this is something that will be uh kind of off guard for you uh, very much so in, uh, unexpected. I don't know why, Gemini, and I have to just share this in case this does actually resonate with somebody, but I did just get like the vision of like a Gemini just like walking out the door, like walking out the door and like walking. I don't know. It's interesting. I, just, I don't know. <laughs> like it seemed like a Gemini was like walking out to like engage with something, um, but I don't know. This is just something that came through. I'm not going to put too much energy into it. But um, I am just like, that was something that just kept showing to me. It's just like a Gemini, like seeing something and then just like walking out the door where they wanted to like go and get something. I don't know. Um, so with this moon card, definitely something that I don't think you guys quite were planning on having this catching your attention. I don't feel like this is something that was, uh, uh, this is definitely reminiscent of some of the fire signs as well. Gemini, I want to say this is like for... Um, Aries. It might have been for Aries or Leo. So if you have either of those in your chart, Gemini, check out those videos as well. Um, but yeah, Ten of Swords, something that, so whatever catches your eye, Ten of Swords, was this like an old situation talking about some old wounds, giving you some closure with something perhaps, Gemini? Because with this Ten of Swords in the upright, this is showing to me like the end of some type of difficult situation, something that was bringing forth a lot of pain. I feel like this is kind of like the final experience for it. This is going to be like the final week of what I was talking about before, Gemini, of where I felt like uh, you guys have just really been in an, in an isolated state where you haven't really had too many strong support systems for you. So with this moon card and this ten of swords, it's showing to me right off the bat that uh, you're getting some closure. And it's through this closure you still maintain in this ace of fire, like very much so motivated energy. 
Wheel of Fortune. Things are just starting to turn out really good for you. Now with this Ten of Swords here, is this about communication as well? Right? Because I can't, I keep on thinking about uh, you rushing out the door to get something. Um, and, but the Wheel of Fortune coming forward here as well, where it's like things are finally probably going to start working out for you really soon. Let's get one last one. We have the Queen of Swords supping up. I also felt inclined to pull this Knight of Pentacles coming in. So Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. I don't know if I was saying that properly or not. So definitely Gemini, Queen of Swords here. Uh, you know, you guys are definitely stepping into getting out of your comfort zone. But for whatever reason, this you being out of your comfort zone, your guard is up a lot more. Um, so even though you're getting some closure during this experience, I feel like, uh, Gemini, you still have some reservations with something. You still are like, you know, when you go to, it's, again, I keep on seeing like, y'all are like my most, um, uh, being shown the most, but it's almost like even while you are sleeping, like you're keeping one eye open. So I feel like this is more so like a representation of a Gemini, like, you know, perhaps, happy about a situation but their guard isn't down about it like you have your attention on it you're just like "Ooh, i would like to sink further into this but you're not completely sold on this energy um you see it as a good thing you see the potential in it but you're not sold on it for whatever your reasoning is right i'm sure it's for good reason in gemini so don't <laughs> don't take this as me saying it's just like oh yeah why are you not doing it right so um yeah how does this turn out for my gemini though we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, so definitely uprooting something. Um, is this like uprooting like thoughts that you had about how a situation was or something? Let's see. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. So definitely there becomes this strong emotional disconnect that I feel like you get with the situation, Gemini. Uh, you get a strong emotional disconnect, and especially with this Queen of Swords as well, um... It's interesting. I feel like almost this closure comes in in the sense of that you guys finally, it's kind of reminiscent of one of your older re readings, Gemini, of where it's like you guys finally get closure in a situation that you were fixing, putting a lot of energy into that had probably with this uh, Ten of Swords, you had a decent amount of history with. Um, and so now, whatever this closure happens, Seven of Pentacles and the King of Cups in the reverse, you're you're taking away your emotional investment with the situation. You're checking out from a situation here. Let's go a little bit deeper. Uh, the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, something you're just pulling the brakes on entirely of Gemini. Something that you initially were... <sighs> hmm. It does feel so strongly in the sense that whatever catches your vision you or catches your attention as this ace of fire as this ace of wands gemini everything else that was old in your life no longer matters like you your full attention is on this so at this point now like anything that was like left unsaid or just like loose ends that weren't tied up it does feel like gemini you guys are just being like you're just being like deuces like uh, you know, you don't want to be part of this anymore. You found something else that actually uh, feels a lot better to you. So it does show to me that you guys are just getting closure in a situation and just it's a lot easier for you to move on because you already have your eyes on something else. The magician card in the reverse. Yeah, you guys are just saying goodbye to a situation. You saying goodbye to a situation and you're just like putting all your new energy into something else. And this really does make me happy for you, Gemini, because for such a long time... You guys were just so hung up on some old situation or hung up on a situation that um, you kind of yourself had to keep yourself motivated for. Uh, you were really giving it your all, but it almost felt like it was like a one-sided thing uh, for you, Gemini. So let's close this off with one more card. Three of Swords in the reverse, but it's all healing for you. I do get the sense, uh, Gemini, you might anticipate an apology this week from an old energy, something that did bring you pain at one point, which would explain why your guard is up um, in this sense. But even if you don't get an apology, I do see something that was at once bringing you a lot of pain. Um, that was a big inconvenience in your life. You're getting some type of closure 
with it. So whatever that closure looks like to you, right? And the closure happens in many ways. Sometimes closure, we get closure from a situation because if we were pissed off at somebody and we see that somebody has something happen to them, and you're just like, ooh, well, glad I dodged that bullet, right? So the closure will happen in some way. I cannot promise you in what way, once what specific way it'll look like to you, but it does show to be a very healing process. Now, what if this is like a person though, real quick? Five of Swords in the reverse. So something there is, is this is in regards to a specific person, Gemini. There's someone that at one point I don't feel like you guys were communicating. Um, you do end up because it feels like this person ended up being like the Five of Swords, where they kind of like took the high road with the situation. Now it kind of feels like they're coming back. This you know really amplifies the sense of like an apology coming in, or at least a better understanding of perspective. We'll say maybe not necessarily as formal as like an I'm sorry, and. Um, but it's something that you, that has taken a lot of like an energy from you or yeah, that you've invested a lot of energy and has taken consistent energy from you because it has just been like a situation that you'd never felt like was closed off properly. Um, so I see someone coming back in and through this experience, it's very healing for you. Now, then it's kind of up to your point, up to you, Gemini, uh, if you're going to accept that apology or not, if you're going to receive this energy or not. I see you kind of being happy about the experience itself, but we can't neglect with that Queen of Swords being there in that presence, that you still are a little bit guarded with this energy, which naturally makes sense, Gemini, because when you think about it, like it's, if it's a situation that hurt you before, you're going to be a little bit more defensive because you don't want to be hurt further um, from it. So it's almost like one of those things where you don't want to keep your hopes up too much. So um, I do feel inclined as well. Gemini, let's do some or oracle cards uh, for you before we go on to your other spreads. Let's see what the oracle cards have to say for your situation this week. We have the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe, Gemini. We have the new moon in Scorpio coming in, working through your fears. And then we have the full moon in Scorpio it's time to release negativity. Yeah, you guys are definitely going to be getting a lot of closure this week. I do feel strongly in that, I might even title your video this way, of where like some type of apology coming in, something just coming in that gives you just a very strong sense of like a weight being lifted off of your shoulder, just some sense of satisfaction and just something that just overall is healing. Because here's the thing, with this neck, like this is what I was honing in on before, Gemini. I did feel like something that was taking up a lot of your energy it's like this negative presence that's been in your life but maybe not even necessarily negative but it's just like something that's been weighing heavy on your heart we have the eagle spirit spirit has your back right now uh gemini we have the porcupine spirit time for a beginner mind uh, definitely a fresh start speaking on if someone does come in with an apology maybe looking at them with a new beginner mind you know, if you choose to forgive them, perhaps, right? You don't have to worry about, you know, it's interesting you have spirit has your back under your, your, your loved ones are safe. So maybe your guard is up because you're really extremely protective of those you hold closest to you and how it impacts your personal life. And then you have the ant spirit coming in. It's time to collaborate. So it's time to release, and this is under your time to release negativity. So, you know, this is obviously Gemini, like it's very it's impossible for me to tell you how you should handle each of y'all's social situations or whatever the situation is about for you, Gemini, right? Because I'm not involved in it. But the Oracle cards themselves are painting out a picture where it's like, it's okay to let something back in. It's okay, it's okay to take this apology and know that they actually are sincere about it um and you know can continue working with them right at least that's how the oracle cards are playing it you know take that as you will you'll know if it's for you if it resonates with you right but now gemini let's now start getting into your social situations this week your romantic and also platonic relationships right see what's going on there for y'all you guys got the empress card 
two different cards actually. The Empress card number three, Archangel Gabriel coming in. So if you're open to working with Archangels, if your spiritual practices allow that to Gemini, Archangel Gabriel is the one to be working with. Also write down the number three. Paired with Archangel Ariel, Ariel, the strength card number 11. So write down 11 as well to, for numerology. And uh, this card says, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So this is all talking about forgiveness and like all forgiveness darling all about forgiveness uh gemini something is finally coming back right something probably is coming in with its tail between its legs if they are at fault with something um but yeah there's definitely something coming back something that you're going to be experiencing i do feel like you're experiencing some type of closure with whether it's the closure of this connection in general gemini or whether it's just closure to uh under like just the emotional sense of it let's see ace of pentacles in the reverse for you the hanged man in the reverse as well as the willow in the reverse so definitely this is a sign for my gemini's there's some type of situation um that you thought was fruitless that you thought was pointless that you wasn't really going anywhere probably right in this sense it is just like very much so like you feel like it was waste of time waste of energy like did you put all this energy all this effort into this just for it to end up in this way just for it to uh disappoint you in such way is a question that i feel like you guys might be asking yourself when it comes to this person um with this empress card and the strength card this is one of those things though it comes in as such a powerful message of where it's just like it's not for nothing right uh gemini you know, and I'm not excusing whoever uh, is bringing you this type of questioning in your life, but we all have our own internal struggles, right? And so while that's not an excuse, uh, maybe perhaps it'll help you not internalize it as much. Eight of fire, events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, and many things are happening at once. I do feel like something's coming in, uh, Gemini. This is definitely a week where I am more than willing to put some money on a situation that probably didn't end so well, because um, I don't feel like there's communication right now, currently, between y'all two. But I do feel like something's coming in pretty quick. Something's coming in with an apology or some way, or at, at the very least, something that brings you closure if it's not an apology, something that just allows you this sense of freedom from detaching from the situation whether it's just like the old way it used to be or just the situation entirely so now gemini let's see what's going on for your career and work life this week let's see what's going on there We have the Emperor card, beautiful card to have. All, all the Archangels, darling. Archangel Michael, same spiel, darling. Number four, this card says organization and logic, structure and discipline and leadership. So definitely, Gemini, you guys, in terms of your work life, the, it's kind of the balls in your court in terms of like, I feel like there's this is a very good week for you to go develop further in terms of your finances, in terms of your career this week. But the ball is in your court with if you're going to actually start taking action towards it so we do have the eight of swords coming in for you so now this was in the reverse for you so this is definitely showing to me gemini that you are starting to no longer fall back on like excuses of like why it is you can't make more money or you know whatever the reasons you have are right you no longer are allowing the things that you at one point were using to excuse why you weren't able to do more or work harder like you're able to see where it is that you can improve you're able to see what other paths that you can take to further yourself we have the four swords coming in here so this is again talking about healing and so it's very interesting how your financial and work life is directly associated with just healing as well just from your, all the same from your general portion and the social situation as well is it just because you're now able to make more time for your work life gemini right was this a situation that you're dealing with before just like such a mentally taxing uh situation that you know maybe was giving you some depression for example and really that started started impacting just the, like your work life and just your finances naturally um 
eight of pentacles coming in here that's what i would kind of suggest to say well suggest that is what i'm kind of getting gemini is this sense of where it's like you guys have been going through such an emotionally mentally taxing time that your mental health was directly impacting like your work life your finances but you haven't been able to do as much just because of like this mental baggage this mental taxing that you've been going through knight of pentacle or knight of wands in the reverse yeah that's been what has been like deterring you that has been what's making you uh not feel as passionate and just feeling ready to go forward in life is because of um i do feel strongly in that um you guys finally just like overcoming some type of mental some type of mental or emotional hurdle um that was in your life i feel like you guys are overcoming it and it's through this naturally every other facet of your life starts really uh blossoming now just because as well i don't want to like i feel like this is kind of uh partially because of like the apology that comes in that we talk about in your general portion gemini but you'll know how it plays out darling be sure to let me know in the comments later on which cards resonate with you gemini because this is the end of the reading that i have for you um i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did be sure to give this video a like and subscribe remember the giveaway that is going on if you'd like to win a personal reading by me or also, if you would like to book a personal reading by me, Gemini, I have my website, simplyvelka.com. All my social medias, my TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, darling, everything is just Simply Velka. And if you have a friend that's into tarot, Gemini, or even if they're not into tarot, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. I love you so much, Gemini. Bye.